Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the two-man death ball that Dracosath's PvP team is. Um, I may have been a little harsh on him in the last tier list video that I made. Um, I think he might be better than what I thought originally, but we'll just have to play a couple games of PvP and find out for ourselves. Um, however, before we get into anything, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. Um, it means the world to me that you guys are here. You guys have shown me so much support lately, and I just want to make the best content I can for you, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So, with that, let's get into the video. So, what's the game plan of this deck? Well, the game plan is to play Dracosap, along with Shaman, and then use the rest of our gold to control the gold nodes on the map, as well as protect this push. This push is such a huge wall for your opponent to get past. Shaman with Earth Shield talent, giving Dracoseth armored when he already has resist uh, and a large health pool is amazing. The Shaman heals him uh, and herself if she's close enough, and she supports him with ranged attacks. It's fantastic. Um, we are running Miner with the Fury talent, um, armor doesn't do too much here because we have dragon towers now, um, and I just like him mining gold quicker anyway, so we're running Fury. Uh, Welp Eggs with Flame Burst. We have a lot of people playing elemental ranged units right now, or just ranged units in general. Welp Eggs are good against those. The Welps themselves are not great against these flame towers, but you can distract the flame towers with the Quill Bore, and these guys will still do some damage, which I'll show you here in just a little bit. We've got, well, Quill Bore. Now, a lot of people are playing Quill Bore with Tunnel Vision, uh, specifically to try and take chests quicker. Um, one, Bristleback will let you win a trade against an enemy Quill Bore. Um, and also, both of these talents, Bramble Burst and Bristleback, make him take longer to deploy, which is what you want in this PvP map. When you're running one of these two talents, he will eat a whole extra channel from the Flame Turret before actually moving into range. Um, which is fantastic. It just means he tanks the turret longer. Then we have Griffin Rider with the plus three range talent. This puts her outside of uh, of the range of the towers. Uh, well, not outside of it, but at the very edge of it. So the towers basically tickle her. If she gets to a tower, she's probably going to do half of its health and damage before it kills her. Uh, maybe even more. So she's fantastic. It also lets her trade with Drake. And it also lets her knock Rind off of his mount, um, which is fantastic for a two gold unit. It's probably the best you could ask for. And then safe pilot. Um, I like coming in hot because you can test chests with it. Um, just a solid unit overall. Uh, some things I wish I could include in the deck, but I just haven't found room for, or what I would like to swap, is chain lightning. Uh, chain lightning is awesome in the PvP meta right now. Um, I've talked about it in other videos, so I won't go into too much depth here. And then Holy Nova. Holy Nova is solid, but I would like to run Amplify Magic in this build because its effect are doubled against Elemental Minis, which is Draxat and Shaman. Um, so you get the double healing, but it also works well against Elemental enemies dealing double damage to them. So those are pretty awesome. Um, if you don't have everything in this specific deck, you can maybe try and cycle in uh, Bandits. They're good for opening chests and stealing gold. Uh, Prowler is really good uh, for taking chests as well, and he's tanky. He trades well into Huntress, uh, which is really solid. Um, and then I believe that's everything. Troll is really good too, just right now, with his uh, health region talent, just because the Towers can't actually kill him. Um, but other than that, I think the deck's pretty solid and kind of where it needs to be anyway. So let's get into the maps. All right, we have, ooh, a mirror match already man all right so we're gonna take the chest he's gonna take that one no big deal let's get a dracosap going here and then we just spent all of our gold so we don't really want to commit more yet but we will send the miner up here and we're gonna send these guys this direction oh he's doing the same exact thing cool okay See if I can kill the shaman real quick. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Awesome. We're off to a great start. Cobalt's up here. Our Dragosath won the mirror thanks to our safe pilot. Um. That's fine. And then 
Drag Sash and kill it. Shaman is not going to heal, but we'll get this Shaman up. We lost chest, which is not good, but, you know, it's fine. We kept our Dracosat. The Shaman should get in range to heal it again. We'll take the gold out from under him. Let's cycle. Ooh. Careful, Nick. So we lost our Dracosat, but that's okay. We will get another push going in just a second. We are going to wait for a little bit of gold. Okay, right here. Get him up the middle this time. Probably missed that chest. Yep, but we should be able to contest this one. And we'll take this gold from his kobold. That should be fine. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So we'll put this here. We're actually going to safe this. I didn't need that Quillbor there, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to play Cobalt here, and we're going to put him at the very edge here in just a second. So that he starts tanking. Just kidding. So, you can put them directly across, and you can start the tanking process, which is really solid. I just didn't place it in quite the right spot. Unfortunately. Get this treasure chest. And once we get that and another gold node, we'll place Dracosath with the Shaman followed shortly behind. Yeah. Right here. That's okay, he can have that one. Okay. Let's get Griffin over here. I'm gonna charge the Drac, which is nice. Charge immediately to the Shaman, which is okay. I don't care about the gold nodes just yet. I want to make sure I have all the gold possible to uh, defend. I guess we'll place it there now. We lost a little gold, but not too much. There we go. I should in that. Maybe he'll start tanking? Yeah, he should start tanking. See, if you place directly across, he will start tanking for you, which is fantastic. We'll drop another drag, even though that should be it. He shouldn't be able to recover from that, yeah. Okay. Alright. Against a Cairn. Okay, Cairn. Okay, get the chest. Get the gold. Those will kill, but it's fine. I don't mind that, because it won't kill it right away. I can place this here. Okay, this is a little tricky because I don't really want this Huntress here. Oh, she's going straight. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Out of range of the bounce so we can support. We don't care about the safe pilot just yet. We'll place this here just to contest the gold. It's not too bad. Maybe Minor would have been better. Place this up. Has Dingo we want to kill. Maybe we can cycle back around. Um, oh, she's already tanking. So let's get him walking. I don't think it'll start tanking, though, unfortunately. Oh, well, okay. Draxath turned back, which is really nice. The Shaman might be able to catch back up. Cobalt's coming in for some gold. Uh, we don't need to support that, so we'll just let Dracosath take care of it. Which means we can put the Miner over here to take a chest. And then it's looking pretty rough for him at the moment. Blizzard is good here, but I don't think it's quite good enough. Yeah, Dracosath should finish this off. And just like that. Dracosath is just such a machine, especially with Shaman, making him so tanky and just doing so much damage. Alright, straight into the next game against another Dracosath. He's really popular right now, for probably good reason. Dracosath here, claim the treasure, get the gold, find my shaman. She's a little faster than Dracosath, so you can place her a little further behind, and it won't be too bad. 
Especially if he stops to fight something. So we're going to wait and get a little bit of gold here. Uh, we need to cycle real quick so that we can find our safe pilot. Ooh, see, he's running Holy Nova. That's so good. Especially if you have AM magic. Right now, the Shaman's getting a little far away. So it won't be able to heal the Drakasaf, but that's totally fine. Yeah, man, Holy Nova is so good with him. Don't have the Amplify magic, though, myself, unfortunately. Okay. Catch up, get armored. around hit those drop a safe pilot should kill him oh yep there's the holy nova that's pretty good but now he doesn't have it for the push which is really nice for us we're not gonna let him heal we're gonna distract with quillbore and then when just okay that will probably kill him oh no i have resistance oh yeah now it's bad that's okay though we're doing well on map control right now when these guys get a little closer We'll safe pilot them and the chest, which will be really solid for us. Yep, so right here, that'll allow us to get another Dracosap push going. We know there's a Dracosap in that direction, but he's not doing very good on the goal control right now. So we can just wait and hang out, um, and we'll be able to kill him here in just a moment. Drop these guys back here, meet this with the Dracosap, find a safe pilot. Dragosaf is good, but he needs a healer behind him, especially if you're fighting a, an air unit, you know? Oh, nice. We'll distract, though. This should be fine. Dragosaf coming back for treasure, which is nice. Uh, we'll have our Dragosaf fight his Dragosaf. Get some well bags here. The Holy Nova coming in clutch. That's okay. This will take care of both of those. Okay, that's good for us. Getting some treasure. Denying his Cobalt from our mine at least. That's okay. I'll allow our Cobalt to get treasure. Let's go ahead and... I think if we can defend his push and get a Drakasap going here, we'll be in a good spot. Put some whelps there. Oh, the Holy Nova is enough. It is going to be enough. Oh, it's not enough. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we need to defend here. But we're doing a good job of it. Man, okay. It's been a lot, which is totally fine. But we have more health, so all we have to do is hold out to the 30 seconds, and then we win because the health will deplete. Okay, so everything just died. That's okay, yeah. Just defend the 30 seconds is over, and we will be A-OK. -okay. Close match, actually. The Amplify Magic is so strong in Dracosath. All right, what do we have? Another Dracosath. The same person, actually. Okay, so treasure, gold going. Yep. That's fine. Oh, he just uses ant magic to clear gold, which is strange, honestly. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. That's pretty rough. Okay, have a weird opening from him this time. 
Ooh, I just overcapped on gold on accident. That's okay, though. See how little damage that did? To be honest, that's so good. Okay, let's distract here. So he needs to worry about that. Yeah. Maybe should have done that a little differently. It's okay though. Okay, that should kill. Okay, it's not even gonna see the safe pilot. That is not good for us. Okay, we have to have another really good push or else we're gonna be really behind here. Brambleback should kill there. Yep, Brambleback's so good. Now we have to start defending our base with safe pilots, which is not great. That's not a good spot to be in, to be honest. Um, let's cycle back to a quill bore real quick, if we can. That should walk up pretty quick here, which is good. Should get another two blasts? Yeah, okay, that's game. Okay, a little rough on the start. That's okay. Alrighty, it is. <laughs> so many people playing Dracosad right now. It is actually insane. We'll contest that. Uh, we'll take that. It should be fine. Yep, okay. Good, good, good. Find the gold, get that gold. Man, we are just up and up. That's awesome. We played that really well. We don't care that Griffin kills that. Second charge again. He, they really like that talent. Um, we're going to wait for that to come in. And then we're going to play this. Okay. Ours has a little bit of health left, not a whole lot. Okay, we're just gonna play these here so we're not capped on gold. They'll defend for later. It's not amazing, but it's something. Get this going, get that going, claim... I'm not gonna claim that gold yet, there's no reason to. Oh, I did not mean to send him that direction. So now there's a reason to claim this gold. I missed the quill board distraction. Did he just give up? He might have just gave up after losing all that front gold. Yeah, I think he did. That's kind of unfortunate for us, but, you know. Is what it is. Okay. Um, not much to say about that game. We claimed the gold really early and really well. Um, denied him both on his Torrent and on his safe pilot, and then got the actual mining gold as well. And so we were just so far ahead that I think he just decided to uh, stop playing, which is is fair. Um, the game is very swingy when you lose that much gold. Uh, it's hard to come back from. So, um, yeah. Just to recap, this is the deck. It's going to be on the screen too for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the PvP showcase for Drakasath. Uh, maybe you guys learned something, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, um, you learned that Quillbore is MVP and Griffin is very strong. Uh, and then these two, Shaman and Draxath, is a two-man death ball that is very strong, especially when you have the units to support them, like Safe Pilot and Quillbore and Wellpegs. So, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.